The snow has finally melted enough for us to get the entire solar stanchion built and also get the concrete poured. And I think that this is going to go a lot more smoothly than it did the first time around because it's kind of like we've been there, done that. So we know what to expect. And also we're attaching it to an already built and established stanchion. So we're not gonna have everything wobbling around and we're not gonna have to put a bunch of kickers up to get everything plumb. So I'm either jinxing myself or this is actually gonna be easier. We're planning to plumb it up. <laughs> <laughs> so all of this needs to go up there. And then later today, good old Bruce can come out and play because all the snow is gonna be gone. He's not gonna tear up our pasture. <laughs> Sure, size needed. Um, <gasps> oh, I need my. Sorry. What? We'll make a deal. It's okay. Not your channel locks? I mean, you don't have your channel locks for today's project. But my 480s, I don't. <clears throat> the big ones. Yeah. I want to buy a pair. Yeah. It'd be nice to have a big boy around here instead of just little boys. <laughs> Two, three. Okay. We drilled six holes. As of right now, we're gonna go ahead and use four of the holes. We drilled these two holes right behind me, just in case. So we're gonna use these four holes as of right now. We're gonna let these guys just hang out for now. Once we get the stanchion built, we'll uh, reevaluate if we need to use these holes or not. You're hanging off a little bit, that's what I wanted. Okay, perfect. We are temporarily attaching just one U-bolt on each vertical leg, and that's really just for safety, to hold it in place so that we can move everything around for right now. The pipe is, it's like 180 pounds, so it's extremely heavy for us, and we just wanna be sure that nobody gets injured while we're doing this. Now to get a coupling on it. <laughs> Alright, car, that's how it pushed me. Push it in that way a little bit. Good. Good. Right now we're just gonna let them hang the way it is. We're gonna start the back section. Do you put those two in there? Yeah. Do the same thing coming across with the tractor and a couple ladders. Right. And then uh, in order to get everything to start being pulled together tight, we gotta put the uh, the rails on it. Right. Do a couple rails here, here, there, so everything gets pulled together tight so it doesn't move.
we've got the full tractor out. Let's set in position to go right next to these solar panels and let's put a piece of plywood on there and a piece of pipe and you're gonna boom me up so I can get it in. I'm gonna boom you up on what? The tractor. And you're gonna be? On the forks. That sounds like a terrible idea. Think so? Yeah. Sounds a lot easier than a freaking It sounds ladder. easier but not safer. I'm gonna tie it off, obviously. You're right. No, you're not. <laughs> I know you better than that. much better. Do you? Yes. I am much more comfortable with him being on here and not having me lift you up on the forks of the chat. Oh, it'll work. Do me a favor. Grab that 70 inch piece of pipe, please. Alright. Here you go, boss. Which side do you want me to hand it to you on? Pick it up. 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 Push. Thanks, Tits. Push! There it goes, I, I felt it click. You're wanting to get a couple rails? Yeah, because right, right now it's completely cattywampus. Yes. It's, all, it's a complete and utter... We will wobble mess. Yeah, so... And then we're going to come back and we're, we, we are going to put the, I, yeah, the extra I, pipe I, in. I think we should and I think we I need agree. to. I agree. We have Why the pipe. Not? We have exactly. the pipe, so we'll do it. Okay. Um, but yeah, let's put bracing or our, our rails on that side first to start that mm -hmm. and start getting it tightened up and then come down probably every eight feet and put another temporary rail up okay. once we get all the, the rails up it should be pretty good and solid yeah and then <laughs> once that's done we maybe gotta level a few legs out a little bit here and there and then uh yeah we pour concrete yes <laughs> look, at my, look, look at my my non-existent watch is getting late though so we'll see what happens there is a life I lead in this city. Cut my teeth. I can take what I need to get by. Doesn't make it easy. The other piece of my heart can show me somewhere in the great unknown. When I return from the afterglow, you carry me like I was Let's get some some rub, girl. Come on. That sun is bright. We added in the last two that you guys just saw us do. We felt like it was the right thing to do, and yeah. now we had the pipe. Right. Why not? And now, being that it's done, it was the right call. Yes, definitely the right call. We have a lot of material for it. Yeah, hundred percent. So, real time. That's out. So we messed up. We got all of the pipes in, in place. As you guys saw, uh, everything like connected together and temporarily kind of like bolted down and whatnot. And we're out here looking at it and we could see that this part right here, right there. You have a belly right here, it dips down. Yeah. So I guess when we started this, when we measured it, we must have had the tape measure on a high spot down there when we did it with the transit. And we're probably about two inches low, I imagine. So the fix for this is I have a 10 tons of uh, 57 stones over there. We're gonna go ahead and put a layer of 57s in there. Just put it in labor layer and lift it up until it sits nice and neat and level with everything else. So it should be fine, but fun part of the plan, that's all. Oh, 
close. He looks just the same as the other one. Gonna have it out. Like that, be good. I want those cut it. Okay. You went, you went overboard with the stone. I, I'm pretty sure that if we were to play that back, you kept saying, more. I more. don't, I don't recall that at all, actually. <laughs> <laughs> more. 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 Too short. <laughs> oh my gosh, it is. Good. Perfect. Good. That's doable. Yeah. It might be a hair, a hair high at four feet. No bed. No bed. Is that good? Yeah. Good. That's good. It's good enough for us to work with. So we can actually pretty much. Since now this is going to be rigid and sturdy. We can come off of here and come up and catch that guy right there. And we should be able to make everything nice and tight. We're just using the rails to temporarily brace the new stanchion that we're building yes. on. So the one that is up right now that's going at an angle, it's coming from the new ones that are not in concrete to the fixed one yeah. over here to keep it all nice and stiff correct and then we're going to come off this because this side over here is fixed now because he's attached to that okay. we're going to come up in an angle and get that side fixed once we do that angle on that we'll just pretty much go from straight on down that way to get everything nice and sturdy and then we will pour the concrete and once the concrete sits up we will take stuff everything down and start making it permanent and put panels up yes I think we just pour concrete here first, concrete on that one, call it done, and just pour the rest and then let it sit. We don't need to put anything else on there, no brace or nothing. It's in a good spot. Okay. What do you think? Sounds like a lot of fun. You have 80, 80 pound bags to pick up. <laughs> Let's get done so we can get so we're done. Okay. Okay? Yeah. It's a lot of work, man. I know it is. My only issue with the concrete is if that thing does not start. That could be a, that could be a, an hour and a half long ordeal to get that thing started. My only issue with the concrete is that I'm the one who has to carry all of the, the uh, 80 pound bags. I'm down as long as I can rely on a back rub tonight with no strings attached. There's always strings attached to that one. <laughs> you know what I mean? Always. How does it look? The good thing is, I'm usually putting something away for a long time. I'll usually run it out of gas and it looks like I did that. Because if I, if I didn't do that, I'd be cleaning our carburetors and all that good stuff. So I hope I can just fill this thing up and start.
Danke.